Pakistan's geographical location makes it a significant contributor in almost every aspect of the regional geopolitical scenario. The sixth most populous country in the world, Pakistan retains its position as one of the fastest developing countries in the region. Its location near the Persian Gulf, where 65% of the world's hydrocarbons are produced, further endorses the fact that Pakistan's strategic location supports the transportation of hydrocarbons, human intellect, experience and knowledge. The ongoing mega-development projects under the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor are being carried out with a greater emphasis on the energy sector. Under the CPEC framework, out of the $46 billion development projects, the major portion of $34 billion is being invested in the energy sector. The current democratic government started its tenure back in 2013. And from day one, it emphasized and strived to achieve a diversified energy mix which can fulfill the growing demand of energy resources. This comes from the investor policy framework. Despite the fact that Pakistan needs a diversified energy resource mix, hydrocarbons play an important role as a major contributor to drive the economic wheel. The hydrocarbon exploration and production industry of Pakistan has a rich history. The first discovery took place back in 1915 in Atak district in northern Punjab. The sedimentary basin of Pakistan is quite large, covering over 827,000 square kilometers and is spread both onshore and offshore. Discovering and utilizing the hydrocarbons for the betterment of economy is always a challenge. It needs a focused approach, continuous learning, knowledge sharing and innovation. Growing population comes with the growing demand for energy and this needs a faster and economic framework for another decade. Pakistan ranks at 141 amongst different countries around the globe as far as per capita energy consumption is concerned. Therefore, we must plan to meet a demand of 16 billion cubic feet per day. If we compare ourselves to the developing countries and 40 billion cubic feet per day if we compare ourselves to the developed world. Our people are the real assets, engaged in challenging operations all around the country, who need encouragement and support. Their smart work has enabled us to enjoy the luxuries of urban living, while they strive to achieve goals and continued their passionate support in achieving exploration, drilling and production goals. Working at the field locations is challenging because you are away from the family. But uh, the motivation that we have in serving nation and uh, overcoming the energy crisis that we have in the country keeps us motivated. The rig is my career choice and I want to be one of the best in my profession. And I am working hard and want to achieve my goals. The working conditions and the environment is a bit stringent, uh, but I think that uh, you can change impossible into possible by passion and commitment. Working in oil and gas industry is always challenging, and for females, it's even more. But here I am wearing this coverall and the long boots and working successfully as an operation engineer at the field. I have been working with Weatherford for 10 years and I joined as a motor man and I am a chief mechanic. In order to address future challenges, we must invest in human development and this needs attention from academia, exploration and production industry, 
services sector, government of Pakistan and all other key stakeholders. The challenges perceived impose a greater responsibility on all of us to add more reserves in order to sustain the oil and gas energy and petroleum industry. Since its inception some two decades back, the annual technical conference has fueled collective brainstorming by major ENP stakeholders to successfully manage a host of challenges faced by the industry. With over 1,500 delegates slated to attend the proceedings this year, the outcome of ATC 2017 is expected to be equally, if not more, fruitful. As most large, accessible reserves of hydrocarbons in Pakistan have been discovered and are being utilized currently, the major challenge for the exploration and production industry is to replenish depleting reserves to secure a sustainable energy future for the country. This imperative is eminently pertinent in Pakistan's case, where only about 40% of available acreage is tapped of which barely one-fourth is under active exploration. Moreover, the presence of sizable unconventional resources presents another potential opportunity to improve the reserve base. To this end, we need sharper focus on technical enhancement, especially through capacity building and collaboration between local and foreign partners. Forums such as ATC provide an ideal platform to deliberate on the way forward to achieve these priorities. ATC each year attracts almost 1300 delegates, students, faculty members, professionals in both PE and GNG category, SPE and PAPG members, distinguished speakers from different parts of the globe, regulators, and other stakeholders. This year, ATC 2017 is associated with a large-scale oil show, which has attracted different exhibitors from both upstream and downstream sectors, which are displaying their innovative technologies. ATC aims to be the hub of all the stakeholders and encourages collaborative approach to cater the growing energy demand within the country. Let's exchange the best of our ideas for a more robust exploration and production industry in Pakistan. <laughs>